So three, two, one, start. All right, hello everyone. I'm Shadex, and this is Cave Story. I'm gonna go for the best ending, the very best one. This game was made in 2004 by a guy named uh, Daisuke Amaya, also known as Pixel. And he was... He did everything in that game. Music, programming, everything, and it's really good. You should totally play it. And so, as I start the game, I'm immediately in that cave and I just got my first weapon. The way, the way weapons work in this game is I need to level them up by collecting uh, little triangles from enemies commonly known as Doritos. You know, just like that one. Uh, weapons can go to level 3 max and they get powerful as they go, as they level up. But if I were to get hit by an enemy, uh, I would lose uh, XP from that weapon. Nice door. Also, don't pay attention to the text. The game is originally in Japanese, but since the computer doesn't handle Japanese text very well, it shows a bunch of weird symbols. All right. So in during the run, you'll you will see me jump a lot. It's because being in the air makes you go about uh, five per about five percent faster. Check out this fish boost. Close. You can get a, f uh, a boost from that fish, but it's kind of precise, and you don't really have control over it. It's kind of random. Um, so yeah, you see me jump. So the game is also quite heavy on mashing. You will see most of the bosses where I mash like crazy. Also, I don't know if you can hear my keyboard, but it's also heavy on... Uh, key alternating, because I'm alternating keys to mash through text. So Barrock here asks us if we want to fight, but we say no and he just pieces out. We're about to come to the first instance of RNG in the game, the, like the main one of the biggest one, I would say, and it's the graveyard. There will be a bunch of mushrooms, and they move in a completely random pattern, and I have to adapt to them. Looks good. I hate you. Oh my god! <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Don't die. Oh my god, <laughs> I am so scared. <laughs> Alright, I'm alive. <laughs> we got through. So yeah, as I said, I hate that place. So now that, now that the graveyard is behind, we have a corridor coming up. Uh, I will need my Polar Star to be at level 2. But for that I will need a lot of experience at the beginning and there will be a bunch of enemies. I'm gonna kill them and hope for XP or Doritos, you know, like that. Nice. Good. That was good. Yo. Alright. And here we have a cutscene skip. Well, not cutscene skip, just bug ride. <laughs> um, as the cutscene is going on, I can ride the bugs to save a, save a bit of time. Because I don't take damage during the cutscene, so it's pretty neat. 
And my Polar Star is almost level 3. That's also pretty cool. Like that. Good. There's a fly. So pressing down is one of the most impossible things in this game, so that's why you saw me mess up that jump here. I mean that chest. You see that white thing in front of me? It will one hit you if you touch it, so I'm glad I didn't touch it. And we have a bus coming up. He's called Igor, and he's pretty easy. I can stand inside him, and I won't take damage. Good. All right. So as this cutscene is going on, um, I guess I can talk, I can talk about uh, the record. Uh, it's a 5632, it's pretty good, by a dude named Magma Peach. And overall, times below 1 hour are fairly decent, so let's hope I get it. Alright, so now that we've completed a corridor, we have to go back. And as I go back, I'm gonna kill a certain bug, that one. Because I'm... A bit later, I'm gonna do a damage boost. In order to reach a life capsule. So, there is quite a few life capsules in the game. But I'm only gonna take a few of them. Mainly those that are in the way. Uh... Like that one, and oh yeah, by the way, that was a damage boost. Normally you have to go in that room and just do a bit of platforming, but you can skip it. So yeah, I'm gonna take only a few capsules. More text. Text smashing. If you have donations, you can read the one. Currently, uh, there are no donations, but uh, I can uh, still uh, remind people that uh, all of your donation go to Save the Children. Uh, one of their many actions uh, helped um, reach 5.7 million children affected by 99 emergencies across 59 countries. Uh, one of their main actions, I do remember, is for, is for uh, Myanmar uh, in 2016. So yeah, keep those donations in, please. So, the next area is gonna be Grass Town. And... I'm gonna get my second weapon, but I will talk about it once I actually get it. Um, something worth mentioning, I completely forgot to mention it earlier. Uh, I'm playing the original version right now, which is the... Uh, which is not, you know, the... Which is different from the Cave Story Plus one that you may have played on Steam. The main difference between the two are that the original runs at uh, 50 FPS and Cave Story Plus runs at 60. But the way they changed the game is that they only made the game run 20% faster and the physics are completely different. It's just a mess. Oh my god. But yeah, I don't play that. Nobody played that. Played the original. Alright, so I got the, the fireball. It's a good weapon for Grass Town because of how the land is shaped. 
the fireball follows along the ground very well. So that's why. I'm gonna try to get it to level 2. Alright. I'd like to add another um, info. Is uh, there are, there is a donation incentive regarding uh, Cave Story, and uh, as it stands, this uh, donation incentive is currently at 178 out of 200. It is Curly's panties and Chaco's lipstick. Uh, this incentive has not been met yet, so I imagine you will not get the lipstick right now, Shadax. <laughs> Sorry. I do believe that donation incentive is still active, so you can still get your donations in if you want to see Curly's uh, panties in uh, Quote's inventory. That's true. Very well. It will be in Sand Zone, which is like... Uh, how much time? Uh, I don't know how much time later, but we have, you have like a solid 5 minutes, maybe? Uh, so, yeah, I talked to Ch Chaco earlier, she summons jellyfishes, and I just killed a big one to get some jellyfish juice, just to put out that fire, and get some coal. So now I'm gonna go and kill it once more, because I'm gonna need jellyfish juice again. Here's a damage boost. Nice. And coming up is gonna be one of the most important skip in the game. The Chakoho skip. I'm gonna do it first, then I will explain. So what you saw me doing here is take damage from that bat and then open my inventory and then take another hit. It's because opening the inventory resets your iframe. That's why. And I got it first try, so I'm really happy. I just wanted to check the timer. Nice hearts. Alright, uh, I'm about to fight Balrog once more. No, well, not once more. Uh, <laughs> for the first time, and I'm gonna use Fireball and stand on top of his head. And I want you and take damage. It's a, it's a cool fight. Nice. So here you see a robot completely smashed to the ground. So I'm gonna help him and he's gonna be very happy and he's gonna say that he can help us to get through the story. But that's cool. He wants m m some items though. And we only have two, uh, two of three that he wants. We now need some gum. And our the purpose of those items is gonna be to craft a bomb. Nice hit. Damage boost, nice. Alright. So here I'm gonna take the gum, the gum, yeah gum, and we're about to fight uh, Balfrog. So it's gonna be Balrog, but Misery is gonna turn him into a frog, a big frog. Look at this guy. So what I want is a three round. Yes, 102, that's good. Nice. 
it's three round. That's really cool. So now that we have all the items, we can finally craft our... Uh, Malco will finally craft our bomb. Alright. So something I should have probably mentioned uh, after fighting Balfrog. Uh, so when I left the room where I fought him, um, you, if you noticed, I uh, had a lot of speed out of, like, from uh, the fan, and I was able to keep it by jumping as soon as I touched the ground, because the way Cave Story handles momentum is. Um, if you have really hi really high speed in the air and if you touch the ground you will uh, decelerate slightly but if you are able to jump as soon as you can from the ground you will be able to keep that speed and this is important to keep in mind for later in the game Have a little bit of time for a donation. Hey, go ahead. All right. Uh, so apparently this is for the second stream. I would imagine so. Shade Axe isn't so great. Are you kidding me? When was the last time you saw a player with such an ability and movement with the character? Shad puts the game in another level, and we will be blessed if we will ever see a player with his skill and passion for the game again. Magma Peach breaks records. Draculantern breaks records. Shadex breaks the rules. You can keep your statistics. I prefer the Shad Hay. <laughs> and uh, for your information, it was uh, from What's Your Back uh, with an amount of $5. Thanks, man. Thanks for your donation and your comments. Yeah. <laughs> He's a good friend. Uh, by the way, Culex uh, for uh, the panties. I'm about to pick them up. It's very soon. Alright, so we are now in Sand Zone. Here's Curly. She goes away though. But we will meet her again. And I'm about to do a bug ride. Let's see if I get it. Considering the goal that we had for this game, it's right now at un $183 out of 200 so it's very, very close. Uh, should I at least get it? I mean, it's a fair amount of money, in my opinion. Should I at least get it? Well, I'll leave that up to you. Do you think it's worth it? Yeah, I think it's worth it. I think 180 is definitely a lot I, of money. I mean, we can't we can't be be nice to people today, right? H have a nice happy Friday. Yeah, have a f have a nice Friday. I'm gonna take the panties just for you. All right. No. T take what just for me? Uh, no, not for you. For everyone, I meant. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> Here are the panties. D denied. All right, so um, what? in this area there will be some big enemies, kind of in uh, 
like circle shaped. You're about to see them and shooting two, two level two missiles at them will one hit them. Normally when you deal damage to them, uh, they divide in like smaller smaller enemies. I mean, you can, even if you still do it, you can still donate for it and, I mean, save a couple of children at the same time. I mean, why not? Alright, here's Omega. He's one of the easiest boss. He just stays there and he eats all my fireballs. Good fights. Dude, get out of here. <laughs> Remember though that if you donate to this channel, you have to use the hashtag stream too, so we know that it's for instance we share the donation page with the other stream. That was gross. <laughs> Well, I'm sorry, but now you know about the hashtag. Alright. I mean, go, sorry, go ahead. I was just gonna say, I mean, it's actually in the donation quote that you should use the hashtag stream too, so... Alright, so here we are in uh, Jenka's house. She wants us to... Well, we want to hear more about the story, but she will only tell us about it if we get all her dogs back. So, you know, feel free to spam a few doggy modes like Awu. Alright, so as I collect all the dogs, I'm gonna try to get all my level all my weapons to level three. And so far it's looking pretty good. I'm glad. This whole uh, duck collecting quest is kind of scary sometimes because most of the enemies in Sand Zone deal a ton of damage and as I said at the beginning of the run, taking damage on your weapon will make it lose uh, XP and you can also lose your level so with the machine gun here at level three, it allows me it allows me to fly. So if I were if I were to lose it, it would be catastrophic. Well, it's kind of interesting to uh, just watch the game because when I see it, I feel like small uh, nest feeling, but it's actually for PC. Yeah. Yeah, it's a. Uh, it has this old uh, feel to it. It's pretty good. Here's one bird, two birds, three birds, more, and a lot. Take the dog! Alright.
Alright, so that's 4 out of 5. I'm about to get the last one. And when you play this game casually, it's one of the, in my opinion, the hardest thugs to find. Uh, by the way, the insensitive that was for this, has it been already done in the game or are we close to it? Uh, I already collected the item, in ah, fact. Ah, okay, now we know. Because I wanted to be nice. Oh, thank you for a happy Friday then. Uh, so yeah, that dog uh, was in that dark room. Uh, and, you know, you have to kind of figure out the path, but I played the game so much so that I know it, I know it by heart. So after returning the last dog, Barak comes and it's a huge mess. But when we talk to Jenka, she will give us the life pot. Uh, when you use it, it will refill all your, H all your HP. It's gonna be very useful for the last dungeon of the game. Because if you have played this game and if you have got the best ending, you know what I'm gonna go for. Alright, I'm about to fight Toroko, but she's gonna get very mad at, at me, and uh, it's one of the most technical fights, because I have to switch between weapons a lot, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a big risk by staying very close to her, and try to kill her uh, really quickly. It's a very recent threat. Alright. Check this out. Whatever happened there, I died. So it's kind of a uh, big death. I kinda hate it. Um, So what was what I was supposed to do is use missiles to force her to jump. And then switch to machine gun to shoot her when she's in the air. But kinda mess it up. So I guess if you have donation, you can read them as I get the dogs again. But it's gonna be the last one here that I'm gonna get. So a note about the Toroko fight is that it's definitely one of the hardest fights in the game.
Oh my god, please. Uh, we actually have a donation. Go ahead. Uh, it's $17 from uh, Kirua saying, This Belgian guy is hot. I am going to jail. Okay. Nice. Thank you so much. Thanks, Kirua. <laughs> 3 minutes It's kind of depressing actually <laughs> Finally, <sighs> so it's a really cool fight, but sorry, I couldn't do it first try. So now we get the f final weapon in the game it's the blade, and it's definitely one of the most po powerful weapon. And the way blade works is when I throw the blade. It starts slightly behind quote, and I'm gonna use that to my advantage against a few bosses, and I will mention it once once I get there. So now we are sent to the lab, labyrinth. Sorry, and uh, you have you're supposed to go through this whole platforming section, but if you have the machine gun, you can simply just fly and skip it. So if you decide to go for the Spur, aka the not good weapon of the game, uh, you're punished for that as well. I mean, why do it the real, real way, right? That's true. So we are about to meet roaches. There is a ton of roaches here. Look at them. Some of them fly. Some of them like to clip in the in the ground. It's insane. And they do a lot of damage as well. Please spam roach clip in the chat. All right. So here you're gonna see the blade in action. I'm gonna face right while the bus is gonna be on the left side. And that's the power of blade, it's really good. I don't trust myself anymore, <laughs> so I'm gonna save. <laughs> I 
That guy really tried to kill me. <laughs> well, not kill me, hit me, sorry. So, as I fight Monster X here, I'm gonna try my best to get my blade to level 2. Before actually dealing damage to Monster X, I need to get rid of these four green orbs. And now I can finally deal damage to him. And I, f I have a level 2 blade. It's gonna speed up the fight as well. A donation. Sure, go ahead. A five dollar donation from Anonymous saying, I'll eventually ask for donations once we got closer to ESA, European Speech Assembly, aka European GDQ. I would really like to be part of it and hopefully speedrun Cave Story and maybe more games, who knows? <laughs> I know who that is. <laughs> Thank you so much for the donation. Yeah, thank you for the donation, my good pal. I'm not gonna say your name. I mean, thank you for also saving the children. Also that. Alright, you're gonna see once again the blade in action. Check this out. Good. Good fight. So after fighting Balrog here, we're gonna get an upgrade on our missile launcher. However, it's gonna de-level to 1, so I'm gonna have to level it to 2 in the next area. But the next area is very common to be a big troll. So let's hope it goes well. Not good XP. So... Getting level 2 missile launcher is very important for the next fight. And you will see why. Well, not only the fight, but also for... platforming. So we are now in, in the core, and I'm gonna save. So I have to open a few doors here to progress, and one of them is gonna be stuck, so I'm gonna use two missiles from here. It looks really cool. and. Uh, so I have a few more doors to open. So I guess I will explain what's gonna happen in the fight. So you see the water going up and down. And... After killing Kor... Uh, I will have to drown. It's, it's something you have to do. You have no, no other option. And in order, in order, in order to drown quicker. I will start the fight when the water is at a very specific position. And not only that, but I also need the bus to be cooperative. 
and I need a lot of missile drops as well if I want to beat the guy really quickly. And my machine, machine gun is really low on XP. If I get hit, I will lose my level 3. See a quick kill. So there is no way I'm gonna get the quick kill because the... It was way too slow. So... The core has these mini cores protecting him and... Once they get in the way, it's just annoying to deal damage to him. But missiles are very important because they deal splash damage. So even if the cores are in the way, I will be able to deal damage to core. However, I have very limited ammo, so that's why I mentioned that I really needed uh, missile drops. So yeah, I need to wait here for drowning. 42 <laughs> All right, so it's out of the way. Now is coming up is um waterway and in waterway there is this obnoxious skip called waterway skip and uh it requires you to mash against a current, a water current, thanks to your machine gun by aiming up. But recently someone found that you can pause buffer to make it easier, but I'm not very good at it, so I will give it a few tries with pause buffer and hope it hope I get it. So it's here. That was almost first try. I swear. Alright, third try. <sighs> I'm glad. <laughs> That's cool. So, after fighting Kor, uh, Curly had a few issues with water, so we have to help her out here. And the game kinda tricks you here because it asks you if you wanna leave her here. You know, if. Just leave her? Le what? Le leave her, sorry. Uh, leave her here so she can rest, but. You actually have to say no. Sorry, my accent is really bad. No, I, must, I was more referring to leaving the girl. What? Yeah, leaving the leaving her behind. But you have to say no and take her with you. So I actually have a lot of XP on my blade. Uh, I'm about to fight a bus called Iron Head, and I'm mainly gonna use Blade. Pretty good. Alright, he's dead. Still have level two blade. Yes. By the way, remember to donate if you want to save some children. I mean, can do some help, I guess. Also, uh, use hashtag stream too if you want us to know it's for the stream. So now we get one of the best item in the game. It's the booster 
and I'm gonna use that in order to do what we call machine boost. By using the booster 2.0 and the machine gun, I will be able to preserve uh, the booster speed, just like this. So, right now I have the booster speed and it will help me go through this area really quickly. <laughs> Whatever was that. Um... So here in this room you're supposed to fight a boss after opening that chest, but if you leave the room quick enough, you can skip it. So here we have Kazuma. He tells us about how he wants to leave the island. And he asks us if you want to leave, we say yes, but we're not gonna leave. Oh. <laughs> it's just because he... he talks too much if you say no, so we just say yes, just to save some time. Alright, so here's the outer wall, it's very pure very popular for his music. It's music, sorry. But you won't get to hear... You won't get to hear it too much. Sorry, fans. Alright, and now we... enter plantation. It's a really, really big area, so... doing machine boosts will help me go through it really quickly. Talking to this fisherman for making the story progress. Nice. So here we find Curly, and she has lost her, all her mem memories. And in order to Sure that we need to find a specific mushroom. The most... Yes! Got the backup. So that boost that I messed up is dumb. But somehow I got the backup. The backup is also dumb. Um, so yeah, I'm about to encounter the mushroom I mentioned earlier. this guy. First he asks you a few weird questions, but then he gives you a fake mushroom. We have to identify it and realize that it's fake, so we tell him that it's fake and we actually have to fight him. 
Oh, that was <laughs> really good. <laughs> Holy shit. I almost did 200 damage on the first round. That was actually pretty solid. But yeah, I got the f two cycle, and that's what you usually want. All right. Oh. <laughs> There's a one frame boost you can get out of teleporters. I'm gonna try it here. Didn't get it. It's very precise. But I mean, this game runs at 50 FPS, so I guess it's not that precise, but you know, it's one frame. So we give the mushroom to Curly. Don't ask me how she eats it, because she's a robot. She just does. And she tells us about the story. But... Can I get through? <laughs> she tells us about the story, but... I don't understand these weird symbols, so... Sorry. So here we meet Momarin. She will help us she will help us to in our quest to beat the doctor. But she takes away our boosters so no more machine boosts. And this is like one of the most boring <laughs> quests in the game. There is no booster, there's not much going on. So if you have donations to read you can go ahead. And here we get our last item for Mamarin. Like this, she will be able to finish his uh, her <laughs> rocket. It will help us get to the last cave, the final cave, however you wanna call it. And once we enter the last cave, all our weapons will be t level to 1, so no more machine boosts. Because we are getting back, back our booster here, but we won't be doing machine boosts anymore. So I'm mainly gonna use Blade here to deal with the enemies. So you just saw me get 100 XP on my missile launcher. That's because I'm gonna use it against Misery and I will explain why. Once I'm done with this.
Here's a bus. safe. I'm gonna heal. And save, I guess. Sure. It's not necessary, but I just wanted to heal. Alright, so here we have a kind of a bus rush. Three buses in a row, no save in between. So what I was trying to do is shoot missiles at Misery while she does her orb attack. While she does that, she, the damage I deal won't be counted in the damage cap. So it would have be it would have given me a chance of getting a of skipping around, but she didn't give me favorable teleports, so no round skip. So here I only have 2 HP left, I am gonna do something that very few people actually know. So there's Chaco on the right side here, you know, it's the pink Mimiga. If you talk to her twice, uh, you'll see what happens, it's very cute. All the Mimiga show you their love, it's really nice. and. You get you get a few hearts. So the final fight here is the um, the undead core, and the way it works is it's gonna open its mouth and then close it, and what I'm gonna do is kill Misery as soon as I can in order to force the core to open its, m its mouth uh, immediately. Otherwise you would have to wait a long time and it's really slow. So here I kill Misery. And I don't need to kill Sue, she just she just does his her thing. And I don't really care. But yeah, at this point, it's just dealing damage to the core as fast as possible. And it's done. But the game is not over. <laughs> There's still hell to go through. So if you want the best ending, you need to go through hell and it's it's rough. It has one of this really big room heavy on RNG. Uh, you will see which one I mean a bit later. And that's the main reason why I took the life pot in sand zone from Jenka. Just to make sure I don't die there. I'm gonna save. Alright. Welcome to hell. Once again, all our weapons are T leveled to 1. And I'm gonna level up my missile launcher to. I'm gonna try my best to get it to three.
And here is the tile room. It's the big room I mentioned. All these rocks falling from the ceiling are completely random and they deal 10 damage. It's a lot. On top of that, you have to deal with these enemies rushing at you. That, <laughs> that looks pretty good. I got hit by a rock, but that was still pretty smooth. Alright, that's behind now. In this room, there is a... These bombs attached to the walls. And I need to deal damage to it, to them. If I wanna... Uh, make, make them explode, basically. But I have to wait 5 seconds. Unfortunate hits, but reminder I still have my life but so Nothing can go wrong at this point trust me Here's heavy press it's really Weak against uh, missiles So you just mash it <laughs> mash with a missile launcher. I mean and coming up is the final fight, final bust, rather. Um, it's in four phases, and most of them I'm gonna use blade because of how powerful it is. But yeah, the first one I'm gonna just stand, stand inside him. Just like that. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get the one cycle here. It's kind of hard. And I was kind of focused on healing because I was... <laughs> I almost... Like, I was able to... As <laughs> there was a chance for me to die, basically. So I just made sure I healed. So that's why I kind of messed up. And here I just damage boost and get next to his high and then mash with missiles. And time is coming up. Time. <laughs> and I am underestimate. <laughs> that's that's cool. So yeah, that's cave story. I hope you enjoyed. Sorry for the few mishaps, but it happens. So yeah, thanks for watching, thanks for the donations, keep them coming and yeah, what's coming up? Uh, says Lisa the Painful RPG by Harpa. Alright, so that game. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. And thank you for playing. Thanks. said thank you for the donations that we have had so far every penny is greatly appreciated since it goes for the charity of save the children which is a help organization that works all over the world to 
help children for for different causes and and so forth. Uh, I also want to give a big shout out and thank you for all of our sponsors that have made this possible in general, so to say. We have Twitch that has put our event on the front page. It's greatly appreciated to be able to reach to even more people in that kind of easy way. Uh, also a high thank you for Elgato Gaming that has also created most of our streaming gear uh, for this event. Uh, like I said, we have had so much things that has helped us make this possible in the first place. Uh, if you want to help uh, in your own way, you can always do that in uh, donate to, to the charity because, like I said, every penny is worth it. Uh, it might be a little too, but it definitely means everything for us. Uh, remember to also use the hashtag stream2 so we know that it's for this channel. Since we have two channels uh, and both are using the same donation uh, page, uh, it makes it easier for to know uh, if it's for this one or if it's for the other one. Uh, since there are still setting up for the next game, if there's anything that you want to ask or anything in the chat, we can try to help out with any kind of questions. Just like I did, I think it was yesterday or two days ago. I, I mean, I think I lost track of time anyway since I've been here for a few days. Favorite fruit? Oh my god, that that's that's so difficult. It, it's so many that's good. You have bananas, you have raspberries, you have strawberries, you have uh, pineapple, you have passion fruit, kiwi. That that doesn't work. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, where the VODs are going to be uploaded, I'm not on the tech stuff, so I don't know exactly, but I think most of our... Yeah, I was about to say that. Most of our times we usually have the VODs on YouTube. Uh, sometimes we also have them uploaded to Twitch, but I know there were some issues with the Twitch uploading bigger uh, VODs, so they're trying to fix that as well. Oh, nectarines, that's not very good. That's actually true. That would be a very, very huge bot if you would ma make one for the entire event. I don't... Yeah. <laughs> uh, peaches is also pretty good. I mean, uh, like I said, it's kind of difficult because there's a lot of fruits that is like... Good. It's... it's be it would be easier to say which fruit do you not like. Well, there's one fruit that I don't like, and that's pears. Uh, I've tried to eat them several times, but I can't stand them. Thomas, who are you referring to? It's kind of easier if you say it like that. Quit 
cool. <laughs> this just makes me think of Family Guy. I'm sorry. Well, it seems like they are going to almost get finished with the setup. Uh, since we're not really doing so much self-promotion, uh, but since you asked, uh, my name is Pink Fluffy Unicorn TV. Uh, I'm sometimes in the chat trying to push a little extra for donations. Uh, and the game is going to be st start now. Okay, hey, this is Lisa and actually we can jump right in because the game has a really long intro so I can do some introductions during the intro I guess. Yep, 